past the point where the mage can ever kill it. Yeah. That's true. Like if he gets the blade master running early, because if, if he like uh, let's say he plays it with a circle, it it can't be a really strong turn. Now I don't I don't know for sure what what type of priest it is, but I have seen uh, death lord priests running uh, divine spirits and stuff with all the mm -hmm. buffs. Oh okay. And it's basically the hard counter to mage. Because you have like a 30 HP Death Lord. Yeah. And it, yeah, when it dies, you get a minion. <laughs> when it dies, right? Good luck. Yeah. So, so if that is what's going on, um, it should be quite devastating. Yeah, we'll see. Like, Mech Mage is one of those decks that can sometimes have a really tough time recovering if uh, if the if a complete board clear happens on like I say turn four or five. Mm -hmm. So is this? Oh wow. Okay. Well, well that's uh. So like a pretty good start. Yeah, I would say so. Didn't even need the. Was he uh, Gelblin? That thing you were using your priest deck? Oh yeah, the, the stealth one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Giblin. Gil Gilblin. Gilblin. Gil you could just. Uh, I think it's pronounced yeah. Giblin. Gib Gib Isn't Giblin? It Giblin? Gil 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 I think it's Giblin. Gil it's got two L's in it. Is it Gilblin? I'm pretty I think sure it is it's Gilblin. Gilblin. Yeah. Gilblin Stalker. Gilbling. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I might have been like really wrong about this priest thing though when I was said that it can't beat anything because it's like it's looking like it's gonna beat the. Uh, Nice yeah, it, I, I think I think this this like the best matchup for this priest deck is Mech yeah. Mage. So uh, Ignite out of all the decks. Yeah, <laughs> that might have been his plan for this all along. Yeah, yeah. It seems like Ignite got the mind games right for game one. Let's see if he has a circle of healing here. That would be so. This, or even this is light over. Naru, huge. This, like, this is completely over. Yeah, even even healing. Light of Naru is really strong. But yeah, the, a circle of healing here would just be a win. Mm -hmm. He's not doing. We're gonna try to get this other computer fixed oh. so we can see that. So, but he's not doing it straight away. That means he either doesn't have it or he has. Oh, both. or he does. Oh, okay. Have it. <laughs> I think or he just he wants both. to attack next turn with both. I think that's the idea. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Well. Well, he'll win that race. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it would really suck to be a mouse right now. I would say so. Like, how are you supposed to clear two minions with seven health? And if you. If you ignore them, they're just gonna keep killing your stuff. Yeah. I mean, I guess Antonida's cloak field is like something that can always win games, but yeah. just like c trying to control the board, winning it seems almost impossible at this point. The worst part is when this happens in arena. Really? And it does. Yeah. It does. Yeah. The Northshire going second into Coin Velens. Wow. You just don't know what to do because yeah. you're, you're not playing combo. You're not playing much draw. Yeah, and then you're like, well, use six cards ahead with a creature I can't kill that's gonna draw more cards. <laughs> it's pretty good. Yeah, you you you've sold me on it. <laughs> if I ever play arena again, I'll definitely choose priest. <laughs> but the flame strike, though, like it's pretty easy. Twelve uh, wins. Well, flame strike doesn't do seven, no. as we see. This that's board is true. very seventy. Mm -hmm. It's really really seven. <laughs> well, you know, this is kind of funny. Like ignite actually went through the qualifier, right? Yeah, he didn't get a straight in. I didn't know that. I'm pretty sure he was so. one of the qualifier winners. I think so, though. Yeah, so like, not only is he going through the qualifiers, he's like slain his first opponent, Tice, who's like one of the big picks to win. Now he's against Amaz, game one, dominating so far. Maybe he just chose the best decks. Maybe. No, that's interesting. And he went face there. Is that does kind of? Hmm. I think I like the. I would have probably killed off this note. Chaga there. I don't know. Mm, I'd like the sheep into the North Shar into uh, Tinker Town. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah. Oh. Uh, I guess it's oh. Lothib. Okay. okay. Sure. Works too. I mean, the, it does contest the um, the board for now. Like the the Blade Master alone can't kill it, and uh, because of the Lothib effect, you can't really buff it right now. You could smite and trade him, but that's pretty bad. <laughs> No, I think with the Mirant, yep, we're just going to see some, some garbage creature being played from the Priest. And that's going to be the easy prey. Yeah. Well, I'm going to try to get this computer fixed. I'll let you guys talk for a minute. Yep. Can you okay. just shake it up a little bit? <laughs> you usually does the trick. Yeah. If it doesn't, then you just shake it up a little bit more. All right, deals with the meter and not the best way to do it, but it does get the job done. And nothing is stays, nothing is at one HP for him right now, so it's not like the mage hero power could kill a minion by itself. Hmm. Oh, All right, that's potentially really good turn for him here. It does leave him kind of open to some kind of combo, but you shouldn't be too scared of the organized circle because you just saw one one organized. So look at those minions there with like the 
green borders around them. Just play them all. Like you have a late game. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You get a spare pot. You actually get two spare pots for the upcoming you, you Anthemidas. You get the one immediately. One immediately. You might, yeah. you might not get that last one. Oh, it might yeah. be Shadow Madness or, or Cabal. Cabal. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. True. But one guaranteed. One is all you need if it's a, if it's a cloak field. So then with a, with a cloak field or something something other awesome thing, see so would just have like a boom for the next turn and then the, let's see if it is. It would be absolutely huge if he got the cloak field. Here. Yeah, it would. Yep. Oh, yeah. Plus one armor. I guess it could have been worse, but uh, no, not really. What would have been worse? Not even sure. No. If that was uh, if that was Geddon from Blackrock, he should have not played the Mech Warper first. That's for sure. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he can turn out to be really easy. Huh? Turn out to be really easy. It's well, you're just a genius, Crip. Yeah, pandas. I told you, it's all about the pandas. Yep. Abusing that Blackrock AI. <laughs> it's not hard. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, this is actually, if if this clockwork gives him, as you were saying, Savitz, uh, you know, the the finicky cloaking field, that's pretty sick. Because next turn he gets to Doctor Boom. That he's getting a really ridiculously strong board. Yeah. yeah. But that's like his only chance at this point, I think. We, we can't see Ignite's hand right now, but he has nine cards, so we can just imagine that everything possible is in there. Mm -hmm. Like, there has to be a good turn. Dignant is not taking his time here because he doesn't have a play. It's just like he's trying to figure out, like, yeah, okay, yeah, that's pretty good. Can't be bad. It clears just oh, yeah. about everything. Yeah. Yep. We can trade that one up, too. Which spare bodies? Oh. It's still Another two spare boring. parts. It's still two fireballs. Um, I think when you're running like that many buffs, it's hard to run enough creatures for the buffs and the extra heals. Yeah, that's true. So I think there's some some pretty decent chance you have to have like holy fire. Mm -hmm. And with enough fireballs, without holy fire, you're not gonna win. Yeah, the holy fire is also like kind of clunky in a way. Yeah, like a lot of priest players have chosen to cut it because it's like it's it costs so much mana, and in some matchup the healing is not even like relevant. So yeah, it's it's kind of well, some people run one, but I, when one is the abs absolute maximum, and uh, it, even the one can be sometimes really difficult to use. All right, I'm back. Good to have you back. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Yeah, four face. They're, they're trying to fix the computer. Yeah, it's, it's basically a bonus fireball. Mm -hmm. Not bad. More than a it, dark pump. Oh, three <laughs> face. Nice. No problem. That's the cleric. Doesn't really do much, but. Um, I guess might as well get it out there. Yeah. Are you saving the Antonidas to play both the spare parts, I guess? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. Yeah, so maybe the Sky Golem here. Yeah, it looks like the only play, I think. I I, I mean, you don't want a spider tank, because you can't play both, so you got to <laughs> just play one, so yeah. it has to be the Golem. And probably like even being phase. Just hope to like, throw one fireball naturally and get them two extra from the Antonidas. Antonidas is a funny card, isn't it? Yeah, it sure it is. It lets you win quite a few games that you should not win. Yeah, it's interesting because yeah. it's like a, it's like Plan B for the mech mage in a yeah. way. Like the Plan A is to just swarm the board and like play all your cheap minions early on and finish with the fireball frostbolt. But the Antonidas can sometimes, even when you're in really bad shape, it can give you an extra out. Oh, this the, this is gonna matter a lot if, if something good comes out of here. Wow. Whoa! I what? Think that's pretty good. I mean, it can't get death, but there's only only one death remaining. Right? Oh my oh, god! Did he cast most. Oh, he did. Yeah, he did cast one death. So yeah. you know so what? Like yeah. this actually could become. This is pretty sick. Actually, I really yes. like this. Yeah, it's a, it's a good one to get for sure. Yeah, I mean, he can't get trade for it. And he probably has to. He has to hero power it first and then trade in. You know, I couldn't remember what this was called. I was looking for it this morning. Oh, when I was trying to make something. Ember ambusher. Yeah, no, I I. I typed in Nerubian and it didn't come up, and I was like, "All right, yeah. whatever." The Nerubian, the Nerubian <laughs> web Because I wanted to use this guy against uh, Be Baron Geddon in the thing. I was nah. like, "Oh, this guy could be cool. I could bounce my own stuff with him." So, so do pandas. Yeah, but this guy's like a spider panda. A <laughs> spider panda. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Please, I just hire you. I mean, there's gonna be more expansions, and I think oh. they came up with that. <laughs> Lothab delays the Antonidas to turn. Yep, sure does. Well, this is one of those turns where you're kind of worried about playing the Snow Chaka because it's kind of likely that there's a there's a Cabal right now. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, what else do you just 
keep it in your hand. It doesn't really do all that much there either. I guess it's kind of enables yeah, if you it. if you draw like another another Tinker Town or something. It's kind of nice to have a mech. Well, aren't you here? Uh, just relying completely on Antonitis at this point. Oh yeah, absolutely. So I so. feel like I would just play it and keep pinging face and just be like, all right, I mean, this is my one out is what I have in my hand yeah. at the moment. Mm -hmm. If he has a Cabal in his hand, I think this is going to be a really quick turn. Taking out the spider thing and stealing that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, here he comes. Let me change your mind. Do you heal Lothab here? I don't know, I would probably... Uh, huh, do you heal it? It's actually a good question. If you're at 17, and if there's like a holy fire in hand, you might feel. Well, a bit it's safe. it's it's that if there's a small creature that you kill, you use the, the four or five anyway. Mm -hmm. Okay, so well, that's pretty. How good. much can he deal here? So if he like goes onto night as frostbolt face, gets a spare, but he puts the priest down to four, uh, 14. Well, that's not really good enough. Like even with the last frostbolt top deck and two fireballs in his hand, he would be one off. But you can't really be clearing here either. And can you mm. be? Can you just like hero power pass? That seems so bad. You, as you well. could do it one time. Well, you have to think about but this way. Like, what are you looking for to even draw? No, no, the thing is like, where is Antonius ever going to be better than this? When you get a third spare yeah. part, how likely is it you're going to get a third no, exactly. spare part you're anytime not soon? Get a third spare part. So I think you might as well just play it. Yeah. No. Play it. Use your two spare parts. Let's see how it goes. Oh no, I think you use Frostbolt in the spare part. You think so? On a minion? No. On the no, face. He has to go face. Yeah. Why would you use that over the other spare part? Because it, it doesn't actually matter. Of course it matters. No. Right? Oh, wait. No, it doesn't. You get a fireball no matter yeah. what. You, okay. The frostbolt's going to be pointed towards face no matter what. Yeah. Or is it? Okay. He's just hoping here that there's no way <laughs> to deal one extra damage. Oh, mm -hmm. two extra damage. Then, then well, there's Shadow or Death is a pretty. No, he's already, he's already right? played one. Oh, he did? Well, okay. Played, okay, yeah. okay. I think Mind Control is the common one. Mind controllers, yeah. That, that would be a, such a blowout. Or, or the Holy Fire. If he has the Holy Fire, he can just Holy Fire that is right here and just train in the Cabal. And there's like no way he can lose from 20, yeah. 24, 22 or 24 that would be with tough. the hero power. What about running fireballs for a Muzz? No, that would be crazy. Four fireballs? That would be a total of 26 over two turns. We have seen a lot of fireballs. That actually decks. would be exact lethal if he had Holy Fire. Two turns later, and running we've fireball. We've seen like a decks. lot of games decided by a top deck fireball so far in this tournament. Yeah, I mean, and I think that that's going to be a common thing in the future as well. So it's kind of fifty-fifty that he'll draw them because he either does or he doesn't. <laughs> right? Yeah, fifty-fifty on the first and fifty-fifty on the second. Oh, that's the last death. Yeah, that's huge. Ouchies. Yeah. Uh oh. Circle. Sure, why not? Just keeping low tip alive. There's oh, one. there's one. But I mean, how much is there on board? There's nine. There's That's enough. There's one off. It's nine. Wait, but he can right now hit Lothab oh, no. with this? Or he could go like hit the guy in ping and then just draw the next fireball next turn. He mm -hmm. can hit the 7-7 seven, seven in ping. There's 20 damage on the board right now, so he actually has to fireball yeah. the, the Lothab here. No, you can fireball the Dr. Boom. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, so... Hmm. Because that's nine. Fireball to Dr. Boom and ping it. Because then with the running second fireball, he would have 13 with the fireball, yeah. fireball, ping. Yeah. That has to be the plan. Did I, did I like do something bad about predicting fireball running? No, no, no. That's runner pretty topics. mean for Ignite. Oh, I'm sorry. I think fireball's pretty I was just I was just thinking back to a, roughly every arena match I've ever played. And <laughs> roughly every one? Yeah. 14 cards. So he actually has a pretty good chance of drawing the last one, too. Yeah. That's at seven. 7%? <laughs> How many no, non fireball cards are there? There's like one 13. mech for per left. It's okay. uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's just over 7%. Just over 7%? Yeah. yeah. I think it's like 7.2%. It's like way it more. I think it's like 65 or something. <laughs> How do you not draw the fireball here? Seriously. Lucky number seven, man. <laughs> I'm still predicting. I'm very excited play. about this fireball draw. I'm I'm excited is, he about. He probably has a, a holy no. I, no, no, no. I, I want I want a pyromancer and he then like a eight, eight bomb damage to face. Oh, oh yeah! Oh Here we go. God. Here we go. Oh, wow. He thought so. Oh, oh fireball! Oh, that's the, some nice yeah. bad mana right there. This is it from from the four four from BM. Oh what? We don't get to see. Oh, that's ridiculous. It just disappeared. Like that's not cool. Yeah, that's not cool at all. That's really important to know. Yeah. 
Like, would he had won if he like just fireball his own low tap instead? He might have. That would have been like way better on the BM. Oh yeah, that's true. Huh? Pretty obvious pick. Yeah. So, uh, I think so why did he go into Druid then? Like I, I actually don't know. Because Druid doesn't beat Mech Mage. That's a Freeze Mage. Oh, it's a Freeze Mage. Oh, is it really? And Druid does pretty well against Freeze Mage. Okay. Yeah, it is. Well, then it's fine. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That makes a lot more sense. Though. Yeah. I mean, and it really doesn't because no one knew it was Freeze Mage and most oh, likely Mech Mage. It wasn't seen before. No. No. Okay. No, we didn't see Ignite it last time. Ignite 3-0'd. So, mm -hmm. unless there was through the qualifiers but, uh, some, some it, super tips from other people. But if you 3 would then three of your decks are shown. Yeah, was, yeah. It was banned in the. It was banned in the first. Okay. Yeah. Oh, it was. That's right. Okay. That's right. Crip right. doesn't even know what game this is. He thinks we're about to go on a hell run on Diablo. No Crip. This is Hearthstone. <laughs> <laughs> There's but actually no hell difficulty in Diablo anymore. To me. All right, that's <laughs> all right. <laughs> you got me. Yeah, it's such good news from us. Like after seeing that starting hand, if it was Mech Mage, he would have been like completely destroyed. Well, I mean, uh, okay. So let's talk about actually this matchup. How do you like it? Um, Druid is favored for sure. For sure. Because the, like, Cause Druid, the two silences, or yeah, because of like the combos that everybody's yeah. running right now. So like, all you need is what one or two minions on board, and you, you instantly start threatening to pop the block on early turns. Mm -hmm. So like, that's the main thing I think. And mm -hmm. um, also like, all of, almost all of the Druid lists include uh, low tap, and low tap is uh, if you time it right, it's such a blowout card against freeze mates. Let's say that. Mm. Um, would you say it's like heavily favored, or? Yeah. I think it's slight. I think Freeze Mage slight. has, has yeah. pretty good matchups against everything that isn't Kazan Mage. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would agree with that too. Like, I don't, I don't feel like Druid stomps it, but it definitely is one of the scarier ones. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, it's no warrior, but I think it's like the mm -hmm. same matchup for the Freeze Mage. Uh, okay, not including the Kazan decks in. Uh, yeah, a Kazan. Whoever a has a Kazan mystic, yeah, whatever Kazan deck that is, whoever decided to play a silenced Shredder. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Silent Shredder. Yeah. Oh no. What do you think about this though? Do you think? Um, oh, it goes for Sylvanas. <laughs> you don't like the gray? <laughs> no time for games. Yeah. Wow. Do you really think Sylvanas is worth innervating over the Doctor Boom on the following turn? Uh, no. <laughs> I actually don't think Sylvanas is like huh. that great uh, overall against this either. Uh, um, well, the only other option was basically Keeper. The acolyte. I think it was like you, you can't keep her. So in a way, it makes sense because you can't keep her because you have to have yeah. the keeper for Doomsayer. Mm -hmm. Because otherwise, you're gonna lose to a Doomsayer Frost Nova. Mm -hmm. So I, I think it was, it was not that bad. It kind of fits the curve too, right? Because it's the six mana used with that interview, and then he's got a five drop the next turn, and we'll see what he draws out of that. that but like Sylvanas is often a liability in this matchup. It sure is because, because of that Doomsayer. Yeah. So you can just play a bunch of shades on turn eight, and then the mage might guess that they might do a lot more damage than three the next turn. Yeah. And then you can just fireball Sylvanas after playing a Doomsayer. Yeah. But, Absolutely. well, that that actually kind of double underlines why this might be a good Sylvanas, because he doesn't have a powerful board right now. So he's like, okay, I mean, Not this would be fine. crappy later on, yeah. so why don't I play it now and you mm -hmm. deal with it now, and then I don't, you know, at least I got usage out of it. Makes the sense, but I think the, the biggest deal there was that he's otherwise his turn forward would have sucked kind of pretty much. So uh, he just wants to keep up the pressure. Yeah, and yeah. it seems like that Sylvanas is gonna get a fair bit of damage. In. Yeah, quite a bit. Well, he doesn't really have anything to deal with it. <laughs> no, that really sucks. I mean, you want to play the Emperor, but uh, there's so much pressure, and he's already at 17 with nine power on the board. So. So Savage Roar alone would be one off if he just chose to go Emperor here. Yeah. All right. Um. Yeah, that's, that's kind of gross, kinda man. Tough. Yeah, sure is. What to I think do? you just gotta make what the Yolo Emperor do? here <laughs> and try to like top deck the Frost Nova or something, then just get like crazy. Yeah, because his hand has some really good stuff in it. Like, yeah. What's, what's the best back, play knowing? Like, like all the cards, is um, it like Doomsayer, Doomsayer, Ice Lance, something like that probably. Yeah. Well, actually, he deals with that. Vineyard. He has Wrath, a four attack minion, and a Silence. So mm -hmm. he could have dealt. Yeah, there was like no way to to quite do that. I actually, this is this might have been the best play. 
But uh, mm. it's so hard still to come back from this. Yeah. Well, when all of your spells cost that much less, <laughs> I guess anything can be doable. Putting him down the one here. Wow. Even though we Oh, he's stealing the Emperor. I like it. Whoa. That's actually really good. That's cool. Yeah. That's really, really a nice way to do it. Putting her opponent down to two and, and taking away the Emperor. And also, like, getting rid of that liability in form of Sylvanas. Mm -hmm. That is really cool. I like that a yeah, lot. That was yeah, that's very good stuff. So what now? <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that the question? That, that's exactly the question. I guess you ice block or you die, but um, then what? So you, you try to pick up like a frost nova for next turn and go like next turn you go doomsayer frost nova. Heal bot or something. What to do? I think you gotta go for the arcane and the ice block. Just like see from there. Maybe play the blood mage for an extra draw. And you have to play the ice block before the arcane is like. Yeah. Yeah, he can do it. Yeah, but, but, but that kind of makes it a lot worse. No, but you're, no, you're, because you're not doing it anyway this time. Yeah. You just want the, the Nova for next time. Mm -hmm. You're getting popped no matter what, but he has both yeah. ice blocks here. He has yeah. a heal bot. It's like, as long as he draws into a frost Nova, there's still like possibilities. Trying to figure out yeah, if there's the like possibilities play. to run up against the druid with zero mana casting hand. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. No. Trying to figure out if there was like some kind of play with like double doomsayers or uh, maybe just, there is. Okay, but he also needs to like Iceland, so otherwise the, those are not doing anything. Are they doing something? I'm trying to figure it he out. He might I'm just be looking to. Pretty sure they are like both gonna die now and. Uh, Oh, and yeah, of course, it's just wins yeah. the game. That's a, that's he needs to clear GG. the Dooms here, still. Oh, that yeah. was that was smart. Now oh, the bombs just do the damage. Oh, yeah, yeah, of course, they yeah. sure have to be dead. Okay, so that's that. Even if they both only hit for one, guys. No, it's it's three. No, I know, I'm saying even if they... Yeah, that's three. Low roll. Way overkill. That is, that's okay. bad manner from those bombs. <laughs> All right, well, Maz uh, switches it up from being down one. He's uh, up two. Uh, no, he's not. It's one to one, one to one right now. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Well, it's it's not so much the hand crip as you see the hero power down yeah. there. Yeah. Oh, okay. power. That can be a problem. If you ignite, you gotta feel like pretty bad right now. If you're ignite, I think you're mulliganing your entire hand looking for Tarzan. Yeah, pretty much. That's what I did when I played against Warrior. Yeah. Didn't get it. Got crushed. Yeah. But even with Tarzan, you sometimes get crushed. Oh yeah, yeah. It's. I really think Amaz's like hand is terrible. It do doesn't matter. Yeah. <laughs> I, r I really don't think it matters. It's like not even what being facetious. Even? It's like, as long as he just armors a whole lot, that's it. <laughs> like, he, can, okay. he can... You just get out of range, yeah. right? Unless, unless a perfect Tarzan lines up like seven fireballs or something. Do you like. think it's a good idea to drop the Thalnos here? Yeah. It's like what? six extra oh, damage. God. Yeah, he adds a lot of damage if you Tarzan stuff, right? So... Mm -hmm. I guess he just wants to cycle through. Yeah, he's trying to find a cycle here for like a mad scientist and uh, things like that. And Maz is uh, going to play this very patiently again, it seems. The armor smith is going to be held back until he can gain a lot of armor immediately off of it. Yeah, can't blame him for that. It's usually a good way to do this. You don't want it to die early on just to like a frostbolt ping mm -hmm. or something, because it's like a... It's do you think it's actually worth a frostbolt ping that? What to do? Can be. Mm. I mean, you gotta deal with it. If, if you don't, or, or fireball or something, because like you waste the frostbolt, kind of like you use it there. But if you don't use it on that, the armor smith is gonna be like six armor. So, mm. so if you fireball the armor smith, it's like okay, they would still heal for six from it. It's a bit. Uh, it depends on the situation a bit, but. Uh, yeah, if well. if you have a chance, you should deal with it. Yeah, Amaz is running this warrior with shredders as well. Yeah. I didn't quite catch the uh, the round before this, where I guess we, we learned this already. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's, uh... Is this, everything is else is new very control standard warrior? about it, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just Control Warrior with Shredders, really. Mm -hmm. I would have probably just went for the Shredder here. I mean, you do... Yeah, but if you Shredder, you can't armor up, and that's I thought true. that's how you win the game. A lot of people, like, um, players do think that it's uh, good to armor up every time, but playing the Shredder here would look like it's going to deal, like, 16 damage. Yeah, I like, do. I actually really like the armoring up every turn, but if you're playing the Shredder, like, just put them out there. It's a, such a pain for them to deal Plus, with. Plus, there's probably an armor smith in the Shredder anyway. Is this, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's it looks probably like, is. It looks like he's going to 
miss an armor up somewhere along the line anyway, unless he plays the big game hunter next turn. Yeah. yeah, looks good. Big game armor up. What to do? Mm. You guys just told me how to play the class, and you guys are saying something different now. <laughs> oh, sorry. All right, let's let's reevaluate. So you have to armor up every turn, but you can miss two armor ups. How's that? You can miss. Okay, two, two is the max. You can miss, miss one easily, and uh, like two if if you have like really good things to play. Yeah, yeah. And I think the shredder is one of those really good things where it's like, well, this is it's a lot of power, a threat that just sits around there. Like if if you got it th down on turn turn four, it's just like they gotta almost frostbolt it, <laughs> <laughs> or it's otherwise it's gonna deal with sixteen. Mm, shield slam. Well, well, you could. Do that with the fire war axe. No, I think um, I think I like the fire war axe into the two two and then execute the doomsayer. You just okay. not gonna get. Yeah, you're right. The execute. execute is not that useful. Mm -hmm. That's that nice actually. You gotta save like one removal at least. Yeah. I wouldn't really blame him for shield slamming there either. I don't think it would have been that bad. But I mean. Mm. Does feel a little bit bad to use both the execute and the shield slam in case there's something like uh, an early Antonidas. What do you think about this uh, anti kill bot, Savis? Well, it's been getting some hate. I remember, I think Rain Ed gave it some. Well, it's a deck card, and in some matchups it's really good. So it's it kind of like um, the way I see it is like, uh, what what other decks are you bringing to the format? Because like I I also brought in my decks, but that's like. Uh, because it's conquest format, and I felt like a, lo a lot of my other decks are really good against uh, aggressive decks. So um, the way that I was uh, like approaching the thing is that I want to have the freeze match a little bit like specifically designed to be the aggressive deck. So all of my lineup is good against that. And if somebody brings a face hunter against me, I can just like three out that. Mm. So uh, it, it's like, it's like um, the deck card that you choose to go with should complement the, the other lineup of decks that you're bringing. And uh, I uh, I would have to like think about it. I, Ignite did have like Priest, so I think it's a good tech card in Ignite's uh, list. But it's in this matchup, in this situation, it's definitely not a good card <laughs> yeah. at all. You think uh, Ice Barrier is better? Um, usually it's like two Ice Barriers anyway, but the, the other tech cards are like um, like a second Flame Strike to beat Rogues or... Yeah. Uh, or uh, well, uh, I've even tried like a Big Game Hunter at, in some matchup, because that makes... Uh, Warlock matchup specifically, like really, really good when you play against Handlock. It's absolutely amazing. Is anyone actually play a Polymorph in this anymore? No, I don't think so. Yeah. I actually do like a Polymorph and Freeze Mage when I can fit one, but the BGH is, is fine. It's, the thing is, if they play Rag, you're just like, oh. Yeah. Yeah, but it's like the, the heal, but it's really Rag like is like eight armor and eight damage. It's like so, because you have to kill it with. It's a really yeah, good holy it's, fire. Yeah, it's <laughs> yeah. a really good holy fire. But uh, about the polymorph, I think it's like that. Uh, the big game hunter is just better because Lorakinos is one of those cards that, or Doctor Boom, which the mage can sometimes struggle to deal with. Yeah, yeah. So it gives you like a chance, but it's like uh, I feel like 28 out of 30 cards in the freeze mage are exactly the same, and just like choosing the last one is like depending on what else you're bringing. Yeah, that makes sense. Shield slam attack, attack Belcher, you think? Yeah, it must be. But he's gonna miss another armor. Well, that's his two oh, armors to miss, right? Is that, was that the first one or the second one? It's the third. That's I think oh. that's actually the third armor. He, he might missed. actually lose the game here. Uh. <laughs> wow, well that's the card he wanted to see. Yep, Insta drops that. And that is already a lot of fireballs <laughs> that he can gain. This Look at that, for one mana. The crazy thing is, if, you actually, if you actually Ice Lance the, the Shredder, the uh, Tarson might stay alive. Yeah, it actually would have, but how do you how do you know that? Yeah, you gotta save it for the Antonidas. This is actually one of those games that I the mage is winning right yeah, now. Yeah. Because he has everything he needs. You need he has Thorson, he has Antonidas, he has Alex Straza. And the warrior has all, uh, only gained uh, a few armor. And the hand from the warrior sucks. If I was a gambling man, I would put the my money on the freeze mage right now. Yeah, I mean, Armor Smith is going to do a lot. Though. That hand looks pretty darn good. The, like the Alex Straza too. Mm -hmm. It's if you know what I love is when Tarzan also gets like Alex Straza and Ice Block in your hand, gets it down to two and eight. That that I'm surprised feeling. about. Hmm? Why why would you play the Belcher over Boom? It's the armor up thing because he knows that he already. Yeah, but with, with with Armor Smith, the two you're basically guaranteed to get back off the two Boom bot targets. 
Yeah, like that's if true. you get flame strike, that's the two armor that you just missed, and Thanks, boom so is so yeah, much more aggressive. Yeah, you are right about that. You are right about that. But I guess uh, he figures out. He the, can do it the next turn or something. Yeah. Like the boom is still gonna be good next turn, and uh, yeah. next turn he can also armor up with it. So I guess that's the line of thinking. Well, yeah. But if you get flame strike here, this is this is perfect flame strike with yeah. uh, with arson. It would be a six mana flame strike. Oh, that's pretty good. Thing. And Actually, I agree with you. I, I think yeah. it would be better. Mm. You think it's Alistraza time? Could be. I mean, the Blizzard is not that great. What else? I, I don't think there's anything else. Just drop it and hope that there's no big camera through. Or another removal. Like, if, if there was no other hard removal, that would actually get a lot of job done. <laughs> like, a lot of work. Shield Maiden. I wouldn't Shield Maiden here. I'd be GH armor up. Yeah, I think so, though. Yeah. That's, that's Fireball time. Fireball is in season right now, guys. Antonitis... Ice Lance, Frostbolt, Coin, Arcane Intellect. Yep. Does he have that, enough mana for that? Ten, yeah, three, that, four. That's exact yeah, that's mana and puts you on nine cards. That's pretty sick. I like it. Cause, yeah, it's pretty yeah, good. Yeah. Four fireballs and... Uh, oh. <laughs> that's crazy. How do you lose from there? Let's see if he sees it. This is Ignite's tournament, guys. <laughs> uh, seems like he's going for it. That's so sick. I mean, if you are beating a warrior with freeze mage, I think you're gonna win the entire thing. Yeah. Oh man, this is insane. And he's got two big ass minions he has to deal with now too. <laughs> uh, that it's all about the emperor in this matchup. Like we we yeah. talked about it with some other players at the, about this particular matchup. And it used to be like almost like 95% for the warrior, or maybe even more. But mm. now it's like we were. We landed on somewhere between 15 and 20 percent, depending on how you draw. Yeah. And uh, Ignite got pretty much the perfect draw. He he got the Alex Raza early to not allow the Warrior to have too much time. He got the Emperor and he got the combos required for the Antonite oh, wow. to draw the fireballs. Oh, he's trying to save everything. Wow. But there's the brawl. This is actually going to be a huge brawl turn, right? Yeah. Here. He has to take out the Antonites, and the brawl is the only way to do it. That was a. Uh that's a cool play. <laughs> There's absolutely no way he can leave up to Antonidas. Well, sometimes the 20% brawl does leave up the Antonidas. Yeah, I mean, uh, actually, <laughs> sometimes. I'm, I'm actually pretty convinced that the Antonidas is going to win this one. Seeing I'm pretty how, convinced how the that Armorsmith is going to win. Oh. No, oh, like it, like it, it's completely oh in line of how, how, how the RNG has been for Ignite. So it does make a lot of sense that Antonine wins. Because <laughs> like he, he was drawing so well earlier. Already. Yeah. No, this is this is his tournament, man. He's got it. I think in this spot, you you still just don't play actual fireballs. You play like Blizzard and then Fireball Face. Yeah. Sure. There's no reason not to, right? A Blizzard at least, but uh. Yeah, one fireball. He's gonna start discarding cards, but who cares? Yeah, what does it matter? Your hand is pretty good, actually. When you have that many red cards with blue borders, I think you're you're well off. Yeah, those are pretty good. Those are the good ones. <laughs> oh man! Yeah. I can't even believe it. So do you, Doctor Boom, Ember, Shield Maiden, or Concede? I think you go with Concede. It looks like the How best. How much damage thing. is Concede that? Concede is the best oh player. Yeah, I think so. 12, 24, 30. There's 40 direct damage in hand. Wow. Soon That's to be good. way more. And he gets it. Like those fireballs are just going to get replaced. Yeah. Aha. Uh Aha. -huh. Uh -huh. Oh my god. <laughs> if only he could get Tree of Life. When's that dragon coming out that gives Actually, you Actually, if he draws shield block, he has another turn. Nope, no shield block. I mean, I guess he survives one more turn with the... Sh no, he doesn't. Actually, no. Yeah, it would have been exactly 13. Dead. It would have went to 13, but that's not him. Wow. All right. Freeze mage. Taking out the warrior. Yeah, it's uh, pretty crazy. Um, all right, so Ignite just goes with his druid, obviously. Yep. As he does have to. And... Here. Okay. Our choice is this your fault. It's even right on the overlay. So Ignite has I a warrior. I don't even know right? how that happened. I'm so confused. Oh, yeah, you did have a warrior. What did I write down? You just druid. I wrote down druid. Yeah, it I was Amaz who that. played okay. the druid. Right? That was stupid. Yeah. <laughs> that changes everything. All right. 
Man, this conquest format really just makes casters look like idiots. <laughs> yeah, this is my first time casting conquest actually. Yeah, me too. Wow. Yeah. So, okay, warrior versus warrior. You guys ready for some armor pass? Oh yeah, it's my favorite. Huh? Well, we know that Amaz is running the Shredder version. I think the Shredder version is pretty powerful compared to the normal. Well, yeah, there's like two different schools of thought that I've seen in the past on playing Warrior vs. Warrior. One, you put the pressure on and you just have less cards in your hand all game. And the other is you try to play like the greedy control style. And I well, prefer the Amaz, putting the pressure Amaz on. Amaz has the pressure deck, but yeah. the way we've seen him play is the slow yeah, Wait. but I think he has to look at this and say, "Well, I have shredders in here. I have to be the guy that's putting on the pressure." You know. Wow. Well, that's that's a pretty good draw. I absolutely hate that dark <laughs> coin acolyte play. I never ever do it. Well, it was Agreed. great Agreed. until the um, the uh, fairy war axe off the top happened. In, yeah. But in this match, I don't uh, play him till I draw something off of him. Generally, mm -hmm. I don't ever like to put that guy down unless like I'm using the second charge on a death spite or. You know. Yeah, I really like the coin. It just gives you like that Emperor turn one turn earlier. Yeah, so. that's true. Yeah. Mm. Drawing is quite important. Okay. Talking about the aggressive strategy that you, by, by the way, I completely agree with you that that's like it's just two two ways to play it, and um, that Shredder is one of the key cards if you wanna pull off the aggressive strategy. Mm -hmm. most warriors don't run it, but it's like it's like that turn where you use the armor pass, and instead yeah. of armor passing, you add a minion which needs to be killed twice. So you can't get ahead on the board. Oh, yeah, that's not bad. I mean, I yeah. think there's other pirates in that deck. No, but uh, <laughs> I think there are. It's just hidden in the other shredder. Oh, but nice. The thing is, there's no way to play it and get the two damage. But no, it's not about playing. It's summoned. No, no, no. It doesn't do the damage if it comes out of a shredder. Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. Absolutely, it does. Whenever, Whenever you, you summon, summon a pirate, deal two damage to random enemies. Yeah, summon minions. Summon a random minion. Whoa! What's that? I just blew Artos's head. That's why he's not talking okay. right now. You might be right, yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, you're right. Okay, never Do mind. you know how much arena I've played? I've seen that at least once. Wow. <laughs> at least wow. once. At yeah. least one whole time crip? Yep. Whoa. <laughs> Do you cruel th Oh. What? That does a bit weird. Oh, I'm surprised that he chose to deal with it this way. Uh, I would have just... Like, I it would have really had to be strictly better to just cruel dusk your yes. own cannon. It would have been a 4-1, and he would also get like less armor. Yeah, and... Just kill that 2-2 two -two with your weapon. You yeah. would have a 4-1. Yeah. Yep. No, so that this was, is that basically was strictly a BM not play. as good. And, yeah. That was a mistake from... And look at this. Us. If this was a 4-1, you know how different this turn is? Yeah. Like, infinity well, that, different. That sucks. Well, now he's... I guess he's just going to death spite it. Like... Silvan is pretty good against that, too. I like Tarzan. You like Tarzan here? Yeah. Well, Tarzan's always great, but I would probably lean towards the Silvanas. Just because of, like, the... You're kind of guaranteed to get something out of the Shredder. So there's, like... It uh, almost, like, stops your opponent from playing anything next turn. Mm -hmm. Like, they can't go shield main. Oh, yeah, you know like what? Steel. I think you're actually right. Tarzan. But it's like, you can't call a Tarzan play bad ever. It's, like, such a powerful card. Yeah. Now all your following turns are going to be more efficient. he is undermining my excellent calls. <laughs> really? This is all conspiracy against you. <laughs> yeah. And you know what's really funny is that you're like the most sarcastic laid back guy and like super nice and stuff, but I'm sure you have some really crazy hardcore fans that are like, I don't like the way they're talking to Crip right now. I think he's, really, he's just way smarter than them. I know that that's the case. I know the internet. I know people. On a scale from not offended oh, to offended. What? This game is rigged. So this like game is rigged. How many different cards? There were 67 or something. What are the chances that both of them get the cannon? I mean, one could argue that we only start counting after There's, like there's going to be a pirate. Yeah. The pirate is coming, guys. You sure? Yes. Okay. Oh, man. You like to brawl? You generally want to brawl out uh, Dr. Boom. Yeah, you don't brawl here. I mean, no. you just the board is almost even already. Developing some stuff is pretty great. Just straight the cannon. Oh, but now he won't get the battle cry from the other, other pirate that he's getting from. But there's yeah. only one shredder, I think. So. Yeah, but he's gonna get a shredder now. Oh. And then he's gonna brawl, and it's gonna get a pirate. It's gonna kill the pirate, and then the two three is gonna stay alive. Okay. Yep. Nice. Mm -hmm. <laughs>
That was, this is a great way to commentate Hearthstone. I'm like, <laughs> this is the ridiculous thing that's going to happen next. <laughs> so, uh, dude, look at that. I love, I love with these warrior decks that we've seen now with Tarzan, like reducing the cost of either Brawl or Sylvanas just for these sick, insane plays mm -hmm. that, yeah, that, that we were all thankful before the mana didn't line up. It didn't up work on. out for Gera, though. No, no, it his didn't at that time. Brawl Sylvanas play on his priest ended up not working out. Yeah. That's pretty sad. Something huh? tiny. Yeah. yeah. He got like a 2 2 or something from it. <laughs> what now? Yeah, yeah. What now? That's the question. Do you boom here? Well, boom is better than Shield Maiden, so it's boom or nothing, I guess. I like nothing. <laughs> I mean, you like nothing? I don't know. Like, it feels so weird because you, your, your ship's cannon is going to go down to one and, like, the boom is just gonna get wrecked by the You can the clear the board box. with execute and shield slam. Execute. Wow. <laughs> That's true. So you shield slam and then execute on the armor. <laughs> no, no, no. no. Uh, you, you you attack and execute and then you armor up shield slam. The two oh two. yeah. Oh well. I guess might as well throw it out there. Doesn't feel that great. It's a really good turn for the Akala. I, I think you just bra brawl here. Yeah. But I mean, wh what if you uh, play the Doctor Boom and the Acolyte, and then just like hit that Doctor Boom with the weapon? Because you oh only need to like. Oh my God! That's chaos, is what happens. Because that's like. I would love that though. That's awesome. You would only need to hit like one boom, but on that. But then your own boom gets like executed easily, and mm. I don't know. I don't know if it would be good, but. Uh. Nope. Four, and two. What? Was yeah, that, that a bug? Two of the face was a little bit off. Yeah. yeah. That was not know. the proper boom bot hit. Maybe oh. Acolyte just. I actually Matrix I liked your play it. though, Savitz, with the playing the boom there. That would have been really like just like a million armor and just volleyball craziness. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You could have hit his boom with your face and like probably killed it off with your bombs. It's just a bit of risky though. Yeah. Like if the boom was don't hit it, then just like seven to Doctor Boom on the board, which is gonna trade for your seven six. <laughs> Risks are the best. It's <laughs> how you win. Eh, overall, probably that play would have been kind of bad. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, well, you know, I said I like Brawl from one player, now I like Brawl from the other player. Yeah, sure. I mean, the only bad outcome is he gets to keep his Doctor Boom, and if he does, then he loses an Accolade draw. That's right. The draws, the draws are pretty big in this. The Brawl is one of those cards that it, it quite often is played against. This is where Dr. his Dr. Doctor Boom stays alive for a second before the bombs finish it <laughs> off. Whoa! Oh, oh! Oh, oh, whoa. Oh, seven face, though. That, that's that's fair. That's yeah. Fair. That seems all right. Well, he just did seven face himself. This boom. Mm. So that's fair. Yeah. It all worked. <laughs> it worked out. I think I like Alistraza here. Spam. Slam it. That's really aggressive, but I, I, know, I would probably lean towards the Sylvanas. Because it's like the Dr. Boom is at six, so you kind of guaranteed to get something out of your Sylvanas. And it's like it also sludge like <laughs> the, the thing about that is that it, it kind of messes up the next turn in a way. There we go. Why would you sludge? I would sludge here. Why? Because it softens up Dr. Boom so you can kill with the War Axe. <laughs> okay. It does. <laughs> it does. does you can't it not? dispute it, that. It does. Yeah. It does do that. Thank mm -hmm. you. Yes, I am right. Thank you. But like, it's so defensive. I just... Like the, in order to like turn this around, I feel like you can do the Sylvanas. But I guess it also makes sense that you save it for the Brawl. Because you do have the discount yeah. on Silvana, so... It well, that's the tricky thing. You're not yeah. really going to be expecting that as much as well. Yeah. yeah that's like probably it. why he did this, too. Because of the Brawl combo. But Whoa. Just Softened. Yeah. yeah, look at him. But look at the amount of health he has, and look at how much damage Fire War yeah. Axe does, and tell me that. But look at those match. two Belchers real quick. Yeah, he can protect the damage. Oh, no! That would be terrible! <laughs> <laughs> Imagine if he he'd probably do that too. Yeah. yeah. Oh god. So that didn't work out so well. No. This is where I X off Hearthstone and leave my room. <laughs> Come back. Do you think Your there's a chance we'll see the uh, Sylvanas brawl here? Uh, and he's gonna end up with early. two slimes at the end of the turn? I mean all the other options seem really bad too, but it's like I feel like if you do it now, then you don't really have a good you way know to what I think would have been really good? Hmm? Alistraza last turn. Definitely would have been better than what we see here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Definitely. You are very right what about, about that. I take it all back. 
that sludge belcher just wasn't right. No. <laughs> well, it, it did do what what it was supposed to. I think you just drop the Sylvanas here and like maybe may armor up and pass, or maybe like maybe do the shield block too. But I think only like you, you definitely oh. play the Sylvanas. I think. Because like, there's two big minions on the board right now. Like the Silvana seems like kind of did value. You don't have to do the combo necessarily. There's like no reason you would do yeah. those at the same turn. Oh man. Armor up, Silvanas pass. All good. It sets it up pretty nicely. Mm. That's so awkward to deal with right now. Mm. Like, what do you do if you ignite here? There's not Ignore, there's Ignore not it. I guess. I'd, like, I'd go with ignore it. But then he gets wrecked by the brawl. Because you gotta well, also like uh, you gotta have to play another minion. Yeah, I think I would ignore it as well. If you're really good at the game, you're gonna shield block into your own Sylvanas, <laughs> and then just like play shield it and slam. shield slam it. Yeah. That's really That's good really is. good. Aww. Yeah, screw it. Take away seven of his armor. It's fine. Yeah. You can't play more stuff here because of the potential pro. Yeah. You can't even Belcher, you think? No. No, I don't think so. You can't give him that much brawl value. But it, it's like, uh, it doesn't feel that great, but you're already kind of ahead on the board. So your opponent is in a, like the one who needs to make a move. And it's a warrior on warrior, so it's like, uh, you're ahead, so just like take it easy. No, don't take any risks. Mm. All right, so here you can take the boom. <laughs> you could, <laughs> but uh, the seven three boom. I don't think I want it when he has that yeah, many cards in hand. That seven three boom has done twenty one damage without his boom bots, which That's I think true. have also done another seven. Yeah, wow. that's twenty eight damage boom right there, which yeah. is still alive, by it's the way. Well, that that part's important. <laughs> twenty eight so far, and now it's gonna be thirty five. Thirty five or another. Actually, it's, it's not just going to trade for Sylvanas. Yeah, it definitely it's going to trade here. Then he's going to make a new board with most likely Shield Maiden. Yeah. yeah. Like, it's uh, he has two of those. He doesn't need the armor up thingy, like from the other one. So. He does have the Shield Slam, but he also right, has good. 18 already. Now we have Alistraza. Alistraza shield, shield Slam. slam. Yes, I like it. Mm -hmm. Or we just can go for it. You can just Acolyte. Even the weapon is ready there. No, no, no. We, 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 can play, we can play slow if we want. No, you don't want to play the Alexstrasza. No, I want to play no, slow. No, you do the Alexstrasza for <laughs> three, man. I want to Acolyte. That's like a fire elemental to the face. No, I think the Acolyte's good. <laughs> do you know how many cards you get off that Acolyte? In this situation, not One. so many. What? Yeah. Okay. You really want that card, That's huh? so good. I mean, if it's a good one, I guess it's worth it. Here comes the Acolyte. It, well, obviously. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's, it's either that or pass. Yeah, yeah, he does need to get the cycle, so I would be really surprised. If he keeps it here... It's there like we go. Pr okay. Play predicted. Damn, dude. You did it. He really <laughs> spot on it, today. Yeah, but you know what he did earlier? was that terrible sludge belcher play that I said he should do, so... <laughs> that's how I guessed that. Ah, <laughs> that's smart. Yeah. All right. So, uh... No, you don't. No, no way. Why not? Because that would deal too much damage. Oh, like when the Alistar was really on the other side, it was the best play not to play it. <laughs> I see. It's like one and a half pyroplast, and mm -hmm. uh, it's pretty sick. Well, you know what it is exactly is two fireballs and a frost bolt, which is more fitting for this time of Hearthstone. What? You guess. <laughs> I, I genuinely think it's it's still the best play to just shield slam Alistraza again. Yeah, mm -hmm. totally agree. Dunk run the your, acolyte. Yeah, run your acolyte right in. Run him in first, obviously. The oh, thing man. is, if if both warriors are like running low on cards and they have, um, like not that many left, and they still have a lot of life left, drawing a lot of cards might be a bad thing. Well, that's true. Yeah, I mean, it can go to fatigue. Ten and uh, eleven. It's kind of even right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but with that many cards in hand. It Liking it for ignite. Mm -hmm. I don't know why he went face with the weapon there. Like this, it, it seems like drilling the three when your opponent is at over thirty is not that big of a deal. Yeah. And he doesn't have a new weapon to replace the. Well, he does have. A oh, weapon. he does he have. A, okay, okay. Play it. Oh, I actually missed that. I was looking I'm at the wrong player. Yeah. Getting confused because it's two warriors. Okay, so that's why he did it, obviously. Yeah. 
Well, well no, this, this is the issue right now. Like, yeah. Amaz is, is behind on the cards in hand, but he's about even on the cards in the deck. Mm -hmm. yeah. And no one's really doing anything. No, this is so pretty the, the, the fatigue game is Ignites right now. Yes. By a lot. I mean, Ignite has answers for days here. He, he can just kill also, everything, like, to, to execute. I'm pretty sure Baron Geddon is always played as a bonus legendary, which means it is. Ignite is playing the slower deck, which also yep. makes him favored in the uh, fatigue It's very game. true. Yeah. Amaz does not have any bonus legendaries. Like, he just has the regular set. I think we saw his entire deck against um, yep. Ga Garus Priest, and there was no Ysera or anything like that. No. Nope. It was uh, just completely standard with Shredders. That was mm. it. So, Fire X and Giddon. I think I'd give him the card. Yeah, absolutely agreed on that. You're, when you're getting this low and you have that many... Like, he has every answer. Like, uh, Amaz can draw everything in his deck and he can basically deal with it all. So I would really like for him to just hit the face of Shield Maiden with this, play Geddon, and just be like, all right, cool. Seems like Take two cards off that. That's fine. Seems like a super heavy Shield Slam. Poor Shield Maiden. Yeah. 20. Ouch. That hurts. Wait. Oh, no, he couldn't have shield slammed face. Oh. Uh. Chat, calm down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. One day, shield slamming face will be a thing. What <laughs> now? Yeah, I think they should rework that card. Oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> OTK Warrior. It's, it's actually like... Um, I think in one of the first like few weeks of Hearthstone, I was talking about how bad the card is, and they should do something really cool with it, like it does the damage to all enemy characters instead. That seems balanced. Whoa, you were really good at Hearthstone, weren't you? I was spot on on that card. Yeah. Yeah. You got it right. Yeah. This is this is where the shield main dies to right. Ragnaros. That's the Jesus. best target. Aren't Jesus? There you go. Oh, that's the best one. Yeah. Wow. You're really on fire today, Crip. Yeah. You're nailing everything. I think big game is quite fair. Like, you don't have to be winning by much, but if you're just winning, you just chip out that armor again and again and again. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's really hard to turn it around for, for Amaz right now. Like, Ignite is the one with advantage all the time. Yeah. Well, Amaz tried to get aggressive there, but I, you know, I think actually the play that might have really swung the game was that Sludge Belcher that was just like completely worthless. It did nothing. Maybe. Like, such a throwaway. And the style stress is still there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it might be useful when Amaz hits sub 15 life, yeah. but other than that, it's no longer useful. It's not that. It's like, it's really hard to use, use it anymore. It's just like, even though these games are so long, I feel like Ignite is like slowly just grinding it out. Wait, you have, like now we're at, we're at 8 and 7, like Amaz is, is ahead one card because of that Acolyte. So. He's he's losing he's losing the card the board the life battle the armor battle, and the fatigue game. Yeah, like every. Okay, let's see. Wow, that Belcher is left up. Oh. But I do agree with the play kind of because he's like doing so poorly that he kind of has to take some chances. Mm -hmm. I mean I don't know like how else you're gonna like turn it around. Even though that was like not a good play, but it's like it's desperate yeah. desperate times call for desperate measures. Yeah, his hand is not very exciting. Hmm. Armor up! Yep. Don't really need to do anything else. No. Slowly grinding it with those. You can attack with... Um, I don't even like the Sylvanas. I don't think he needs it. But he did just see a brawl, so I he knows no that it's like getting yeah. killed. Yeah. I, mean, I don't mind it. I probably would not play it, but I don't mind it at all. I think it's fine. Like, it's a lot of damage. It doesn't die to that, but it's like... Amaz is going so low. That's why we saved the Alistraza. Oh, that's right. Yeah. So he can afford... Oh, but how much is that? 12 to 20 damage. Mm -hmm. Do you go for it? Yeah, the funny thing is, it counters the Alistraza play what if you do. No. Mm -hmm. I mean, there could be Alistraza execute, and then that would just like. But no, but he can't like. 
He can't attack first because he goes into he goes to five, so he can't use the weapon and Alexstrasza afterwards. Right because, yeah, yeah, yeah. Good he counters the Alexstrasza play. Job. Yeah. So I guess you just go for it. I mean, how do you lose from there? What? Like if you play rag, you attack face. If you oh yeah, if you don't want to play rag, weapon. then it's fine. You just don't attack face. Yeah. Mm. What can go wrong if you drop it here? I don't think Brawl anything. is already gone. You'd have to put you playing two brawls. Uh, like that would be it. Deathwing. Deathwing. Oh, good old Deathwing. But you still have like double execution. Oh no, you actually take Deathwing. Never mind. That's, that's fine. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Wait, what? What? Uh, well, I guess he wants okay. to be ready to execute anything that comes out because he knows his opponent has to do something. Yeah, yeah, it has to be because of the execute. Okay. Oh, how good is that? Trying to figure it out because he gets he gets an extra. He can first take that out, and with the Harrison, he can he gets an extra whirlwind from the opponent's yeah, yeah. weapon. So that's actually going to be an easy way to clear that. Wow, that really backfired. Oh, that's a card. All right, it's time for Rag to go through this. Yeah, <laughs> I mean Ignite has no, Rag. No, it's a fifty-fifty, yeah. and it's a good fifty-fifty. <laughs> oh, it's yeah, he can execute. I'd, I'd even shield slam. Sure. Well, I mean, it's 50-50 either way if you shield slam or not. That's true. Maybe you don't. I don't I mean, shield slam Yeah, at just give it. Like, why would you do it? See, it would have just hit the slime, and then you'd feel really dumb. All right. That's the big game. <laughs> All right. This is not over yet. No, it's not. Wow. They got a lot quicker, though. There actually might be a comeback in the making here. Seems unlikely, but it's still doable. But Ignite will draw into his Chrome eventually. Oh, okay. <laughs> Uh, nope. I mean, it's this is an obvious get-in, yep. right? Yep. You just Clear stone. That's going to be a pain to get rid of. What's going to be a pain is activating Grimash for that 25 damage shield slam. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you got to wait a while. Have you ever seen that happen? Like somebody shield slamming for a yeah. bit too much? Yeah, me too. It's It was the... Um, what was it? I think it was like some, some play with Armorsmith. And then, like, attack into some taunts, mm -hmm. and then they do Grom Shield Slam, and then Shield Slam's a little bit too much. Uh -huh. Ouch. All right. Draw. That's the Alex Sosa. And the uh, game looks to be somewhat even. Yeah, look at this. Two well, cards and three cards. Slam. Okay, so Amaz is still in pretty bad shape. Mm. He has less cards, and he's also slightly behind on the, on the board. And on the life totals, and on the cards in the hand. Okay, <laughs> yeah. So not, not much has changed. Good. Okay, not, yeah. not really that much. I'm almost out of cards. Okay, that better be a good one because he doesn't have much more left. Oh whoa! If he gets if he gets cruel task, he can chip away at roughly one fifth of Ignite's health. Whoa! <laughs> but I don't think there's a cruel task in the deck left. What? Can't quite. Remember. I think you're right. <laughs> I don't think there is one. Probably not. No, he used one to like before he brawled and yeah. Uh, yeah, and I think there was one used right before that. I think so, yeah. Not sure. Yeah, no, he he used that this game for that really weird play where he could have had the 4-1. Oh, yeah, that's right. 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 That's cannon. true. Right. Yeah, where he could have yeah. used it on the cannon. What now? Do you think it snowballed from there? Because it, it feels like Amas has been behind all game. Like, yeah, well, there was a definitely of a few mistakes just in the early I game think, overall. I think actually Artosa's sludge belt for play just lost tempo so hard. Yeah, but also like the game, the turn where he couldn't deal with the four three with a four one cannon was actually a pain in the ass. Also, yeah, it was pretty yeah. weak. Well, Down Down throw mash. Yeah. Tilt. What think. No. Well, it's it's, gonna it's be not getting up. that much better. I think Gromash just hits the shredder here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. Amaz with Chrome Execute and Ignite with Chrome Execute. But Ignite also with uh, <laughs> cards, two cards in, and two weapon cards and, and the HP weapon. and yeah. armor. So are you trying to say Ignite is favored here? No, slightly, yeah. It depends on the uh, stability of the network connection. Absolutely. <laughs> oh. Okay. Wait, what? Did that? Uh, oh. Oh, oh, oh he you know it's the best to execute yeah, yeah. left. Nice. Very but well it doesn't done. really matter. Like, he could have just yeah. let it get executed too, and he would have win the fatigue. Ignite, 3 1, moving on. Wow. Ignite just crushing so far. That's like yeah. very surprising. Like, 